Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Impossible Challenge And unfortunately I have a small apology I didn't hit the right key combination to start recording So the first five minutes of this have been cut off So we're just beginning this video now But I can tell you what's happened when we get back to the Geoscope um, I see I've also forgotten to put the tanks on again So that's a good start uh, Actually the tanks haven't arrived yet That's actually what's happened Whoa, all those subscribers immediately shot at Okay, well, return fire, loyal subscriber. Thank you for not dying. Let's actually put the lieutenant back in the craft, shall we? Epic Spice Girl Combi shall now come out. And see the guild man standing away, but fortunately, she wants to be a good backstabber. And, um, make bad jokes. Alright, so the man with the torpedo launcher, general manager, can't quite handle his loads. Who's going to drop that? It's actually a woman. It's a woman general manager, because they can do that now. Alright. Not enough time units to engage. How about you? Can you engage, Flower Girl? This, this Flower Girl's a weakling. Alright, let's engage. Everything except the guy. Ah! Well, Flower Girl got what she deserved for that, that appalling attack. No one else died, so that's okay. Fortunately, Earl of Trials is up after that pathetic general manager. Oh no, general manager did okay. Who, who died? That person. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> Take a step, boom. Oh, you can see someone, can you? You could see someone. Olympic Spice Girl Combi. And uh, all the subscribers going to hide in the sub. And we're going to get general manager out with a torpedo launcher. Screw subtlety. We're dealing with Gilman. Oh, yes. So this particular sub did the same thing as the last sub we did, the one that tried to get away. You know, it went all the way down to Antarctica and back up again, but we got it because we're strong. This is a cool little place. It's all, like, ruined stuff. It's not quite the one that's my favourite underwater scene, but it's getting close. Alright, so apparently there is someone around the corner. Epic Spice Girl Combi, can you take a look? Yes, you can. Can you take a shot? All oh, is upstairs and everything. Wow. Fortunately, unable to take a killing shot. That's a bit disappointing. What's a shot looking like on that? 22 time units. Do we take the chance? Take a chance, chance. If we fail, we kill everybody. That's a good chance. No lot of fire. I'm not going to take that shot. Right, Earl of Trousers, can you clean up, please? It's a bit strange. If you're general manager, I don't want you. Go away. <laughs> Looking at the yellow trousers here, it's his moment to shine. Okay, you can now see it. Okay, that's fine. Still can't shoot. Okay, what is the problem, guys? Step there. You can only take one shot now. Missed terribly. That was appalling. Wow. Alright, well, um. Lost subscriber. You're up. No, you're not. You actually can't shoot. Well, goodbye, Earl. <laughs> wow. That was a pulling round of shooting. That was a grenade. That was even worse. Oh, wow. That was lucky. <sighs> he missed. Somebody missed, at least. Headshot. Can we do another headshot? Thank you. Alright, who else was playing love games? Someone threw a grenade. Was it you? Or was it someone else? Epic Spice Girl combination should now need to advance. She wants to be a good XCOM operative. Can she do it? Maybe. Ah, there's that naughty little boy. He's playing love games of air XCOM operatives. But you know what happens to naughty boys? They get torpedoed in the face. Not a fire, unfortunately. That did absolutely nothing. That's a bit disappointing, actually. At least it didn't actually hurt anybody, but yeah, it did absolutely nothing. Oh, at least it lightened the load. Can we actually 
actually take any shots at all of this guy? Apparently you can. Except you've got no time units. Alright, um... you got no time units. you got no line of fire. Come on, guys. These guys have been such the perfect starting positions. It's amazing. Alright, well, let's scatter. How's that? Let's not get instantly have our whole squad wiped by a single grenade. It's a good plan. It's a solid plan. It involves this man running this way. <laughs> Boom. Next turn, that guy's so dead. <laughs> Another grenade, which killed the uh, Earl of Trousers, unfortunately, and, and severely injured the epic spy skill combination. And also continues to shrug off gorse rifle attacks, taking three shots to die. Fortunately, uh, everyone except General Manager has a medikit. So needed the tanks. Frankly, too long to arrive. All right, well let's get a medikit out there. Oh, he actually had one. Oh. Well. Next turn you'll be healed up, it's okay. I've only got one fatal wound anyway, so I need one wound. Alright, so boom and loyal subscriber, it's down to you two to actually clear the map of enemy aliens. Oh, man, without tanks we are so nothing. It's awful. Oh, loyal subscriber. Let's make sure this area back here is clear. My girl combi shall now be fully restored, her hit points restored by the power of this medikit, which we shall use on one hand. And a little healing, it's good to see. Restored to the good health. That's right, the good health. So now that we have good health, we shall advance. And the general manager just needs to get to a good sniping position. This looks like a good one here, to be honest. Law subscriber advances. It's not a particularly fun map type, I've got to be honest. Boom just needs to drop that, and probably that as well. We've got explosive damage coming out of every gun we've got anyway, so it's fine. Uh, probably over in this direction, the alien sub. That's the edge of a map, that's the edge of a map, so it's got to be over here. That seems to be everyone. We saw a brief flicker, but nothing conclusive. Alas, we're slow getting our tanks as soon as we can. What we really need is to get a uh, get those base missions happening. You know, load our squad full of 14 guys, give them all high explosive weapons to make sure that when they're molecular controlled, there's the maximum chance of friendly fire. That's you know, good to see. And just give them a bunch of tasers to handle the bottom areas. You know, we just need one lobster man navigator and we're good. We're all good. We need to learn about magnetic navigation. We need to learn that from a navigator of the lobster man type. I don't know if any other races have a navigator anyway. I think aquatoids of every type, but yeah. That seems to be a map as well. Where is the sub? Is there a sub? Hang on a minute. What the hell? That's it there. Wow, it's tiny. Wow. There you go. Let's, let's start getting you over this way then, because we've taken out all of the islands that were surrounding the craft. Uh, my own craft, rather. General Manager will be in a good spot to provide some interdiction next turn. Then we'll get the loyal subscriber to come on down as well. And frolic in the ice crystals. I'm always up for a good frolic. Oh, yes. Alright, so, General Manager, let's get up those stairs. Honestly, that's probably enough of a sniping spot for you. You know, all we need to do is just launch one torpedo inside that, and we're basically done. <laughs> you know, we could do it this turn, but I'd rather do it an aim shot next turn. I'm gonna get the epic spy skill combination to come on down. It's all the spy skills fused into one creature, just like a gestalt. That's right, is it's a spy skill gestalt. 
So we're going to get this little subscriber to come on down. Look at the medikit on the floor there. And is there anyone else we've missed? That's right, the boom. Boom with the chain gun. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. The boom, boom, boom. That's our turn. So it's definitely aliens inside the sub. And that's a bad thing for them to be doing at the moment, in my opinion. Because, you know what? I have a torpedo launcher. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Oh, come on. And that's the end of the mission. <laughs> oh yes, the torpedo launcher of freedom and joy and justice. We, we've captured a live alien. That's actually okay. The epic spiced girl combination general manager reached the rank of ensign. That torpedo launcher providing the damage that was necessary, the splash damage, to deal the damage necessary to destroy that enemy alien. And look at our balance. <laughs> so much money. Our score is doing quite well this month, actually. We're doing very well indeed. The only concern is what happens when that terror site kicks in. That's right. So what we're going to... So I can now tell you what's happened this month. Uh, we did a bit of re-equipping in the equipment screen, sold some stuff. We discovered we are out of tanks completely. So um, we will make sure we can get on that. We also launched our second Triton, which arrived, Triton 4, which discovered this second alien colony over here. Although I'll be rescuing Japan first, because Japan is more important, because they invented Pokemon. This is just a cool place. This is a cute place. <laughs> Alright, so now we have our solid harpoon bolts, and that was the reason why we couldn't equip our Sea Lankans before for that particular mission. As we should be able to now see, I believe that they've already arrived. Actually, no, the, tank, the tanks have still not arrived, though they've been coming separately. So the epic Spice Girl and the different duck are still wounded. So we're going to have to get the sitcom lead and um, Skynox 2, as well as... Oh no, no, as well as the... not Wolfgang, the accidental dentist. That's right, dentists. You know, they rock up to work and bam, they're a dentist. And there's the two sea length gas cannons. They take a while to arrive, those things. We're going to purchase one additional one if we can store it, which we can't. Okay, that's fine. Actually, let's check first. Can we sell some alien equipment to be able to fit that stuff in our stores? Like those extra sonic blasters. And the sonic pistols and the power clips. I actually really like sonic pistols, but we're not going to be using them for this playthrough, so... All sold, as well as the Gilman corpses. And you sell the, could actually just sell the corpse. I've already done the, the research. So it's okay. And we should have some space now. Let's check our base information screen. We have some space. Can we purchase another gas cannon tank? We can. There you go. So now we can finally equip our Triton back to full strength. There we go. Multiple small units. And the score is positive. Very positive. Let's just not have a terror site this, this month and we'll be okay. Research is completed on the Gorse Defenses. The Gorse Defense provides the latest and most effective protection against an attack by hostile submarines. It's good to see. And we can't research anything else. So, all in on Alien Origins, I suppose. It's all good score. We can now produce Gorse Defenses and now Alien Origins is automatically completed. The aliens strike all across the globe with ruthless efficiency. We cannot pin down their source. Could it be in some ocean deep too impenetrable for us to locate? Or, not all the organisms we have encountered are aliens. Some are very old. Some are from evolutionary paths long thought extinct. We are dealing with a menace that has been sleeping for millennia. A subtle symbiosis of human and alien. Deep in the oceans there lie ancient sites used by the aliens to conduct their stellar cousins. To contact their stellar cousins. Each of these 12 sites contains a Simonium device, a powerful alien technology. Now of their war machine on the march, the aliens have reactivated these sites to widen their molecular control net. We must destroy these sites at all costs. Cool. Well, if we ever get an artifact site, we know it's a big deal. <laughs> Alright, so. We can actually do the particle disturbance sensor. Get it out the way. Get it off the list. Okay. We have another one of those tanks, which arrived very quickly this time, so let's just keep going. Alright, another submarine. Let's shoot it down. Now, not disengage. I want to aggressively attack, not run away from the thing. 
There you go, aggressive attack. There you are. Aggressive attack because it fires faster. Alien sub is hit. Alien sub is destroyed is downed. It's not destroyed, alas. Would have gone with a good destruction. It's to the stage where I just want these missions not to exist anymore, because there's so many of them. But it is providing that score bonus. It's almost the highest score we've ever actually achieved, which is amazing. We've also received completed research on the particle disturbance sensor, which we're now going to have a look at. This new device uses a variety of detectors and advanced computer systems to identify moving, moving enemy units in water. Click on the particle, the sensors. Let's try that whole sentence again. Click on the disturbance sensor icon on the tactical display. Select view sensor from the menu. The sensor display arrows show. Uh, they show an arrow in the center where the. The sensor display shows an arrow in the direction which is the center. Wow, I cannot read. Oh, come on. Kilkacon, learn to read. Okay, thanks. Oh, all right, here we go again. Select view sensor from the menu. The sensor display shows an arrow in the center, which is the direction the aircon ought is facing. North is at the top. The blips show which units have moved recently. Large units or fast moving units will provide larger beeps. Blips. Static units will not show up. Okay. We finally got through that research. It took longer to read out than to actually research. We're going to not research any of that nonsense. Alien learning arrays, maybe. Vibro blow, just let's leave it, honestly. We've got nothing to research. We can now produce the particle disturbance sensor, which is all fine and dandy, and the gorse rifle production is now complete. Which is cool. Might as well complete the gorse pistols. Gorse pistols are complete. I honestly cannot be bothered doing that mission at this time. And oh! XCOM monthly report 1,319 a score of excellent oh, 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 look at that guy's eyebrows, the fund, the committee of funding, oh, I suppose I should do a voice for this the committee of funding organizations is very pleased with your excellent progress, keep up the good work USA, Alaska Euro Syndicate, Arabian Bloc Egyptian Cartel, Africa Corps Brazilian Union, New Mexico Asian Coalition, Scandinavia, Free China Australasia, Federated Korea and the Icelandic Union are particularly happy of your progress in dealing with local alien in Cape Persian and have agreed to increase their funding. Neo Japan is unhappy with your ability to deal with alien activity in its seas and has decided to reduce its financial commitment. Well it's time to save Japan that's for sure. We have actually not lost, a, oh no, we have lost, um, we haven't lost a country yet, wow, we're actually doing great. Of course USA had to one-up Arabian bloc, you know, even with all the oil, it's not enough to beat, ah, beat USA. But Japan is looking a little skimpy, you know, skimpy Japan, gotta do something about that. We're almost at 15 million dollars, you know, let's have a look at our graphs, our income and our expenditure and our maintenance. <laughs> You know, we're still doing great. Our balance is just off the charts. Alright, so let's, let's look at our score. It's great score so far. Honestly, this is the time, if ever, to engage an alien colony. Possibly the tenth, though, because we may have a terror site immediately off the bat, if we're honest. So let's just let... It's large. Yeah, it's the terror site thing now. So let's just shoot it down to prevent a terror site from occurring. It's a small touch down. Let's take it out. Uh, can we reach it? Continue pursuit, continue pursuit. Come on. Continue pursuit, continue pursuit. Continue pursuit, continue pursuit. Continue pursuit, continue pursuit. Begin mission. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Go. It's a little bit dark. Oh, that's a bit disturbing, isn't it? Good, good thing we equipped those little chemical flares. So let's see who's the particular alien. Whoa, hello. Who was that? Who was that? It's a gill man. Okay, not too particularly threatening. But we do need to deal something, do something about it, because we don't want these aliens to continue their activity. I'm gonna get this alien out, the way, this tank out of the way. Get it shot at again. It's down to nine hit points. Can we do this easily? Take a 
a snap at that. We dealt no damage at all. That thing is towed so dead. It's just instantly killed. Alright, um... I suppose the general manager is the best shot we've got here. That's one down. That's a good start. Took a step back. Body blocked him. Just this tank's dead, that's all. <laughs> it's completely dead. Alright, well, you know what? We need to get one of these guys to throw out a flare. Skynox, just drop your stuff immediately. Let's be honest with yourself. Accidental dentist, get your flare out there. Drop your thermal taser. Next turn, you can do something with it. So, that's instantly killed. That's more gill men again. Fortunately, it's not too dark, but it's enough that it's limiting our visibility. where those shots were coming from before. A little bit disheartening. But that's okay. We'll get the general manager to provide her own chemical flare up to the northwest. Cool. Yeah, the chemical flares are definitely necessary for this particular mission. Okay, well let's get Skynox out here. He's ready to provide aim shots at 44% accuracy. That's an aim shot, by the way. He's not very accurate in this particular incarnation, but he is still Dragonic, and he's older, so that's all important stuff. Alright, let's get... Oh, let's get the Sipcom lead out there, shall we? Some chain gun good. Chain gun good. Alright, who's shooting at our tank this time? From that direction. The sub seems to have quite a lot of activity. Detected the enemy alien. And probably got out of the way so we can provide some automatic fire from the general manager, of course. I like how none of those shots were even close to the, the enemy target at all. Alright, Sipcom lead, let's provide some controlled chain gun fire. It was even handed in its approach. Dealing damage to the tank. Actually, no, the explosion was far enough away that it didn't actually pierce its armor, so it's actually okay. So it's, okay. it's a good effort. So it used nine of those mini missiles, which is good. Skynox is now in a good position to shoot things in the future. Alright, um, Sipcom lead, just keep pressing forward. We are going to have to use troops for this because we don't have enough. We quite literally just don't have the crew not to use the troops, so the dentist... As soon as you lose even one vehicle, your, your scouting potential is really reduced significantly. I do like the vehicles though, they do work. It's just losing them is annoying. Alright. Turn three. We see nothing at all. Wow, okay. Let's find this sub. Fortunately we've got enough we could see, we just we can see the terrain, we just can't see aliens that well. At least the tank will absorb reaction fire first. Yeah, it's quite dark. Fortunately chemical flares are awesome. Okay, so Accidental Dentist doesn't actually have his on hand. The sitcom lead does. That's right, that woman, she leads the sitcoms in a leading revolu glorious revolution for the Centauri Republic. Oh, that landed... Uh, where? On the roof, okay. So there you go. Let's get Boom out here, shall we? It is nice to be on a corner. Alright. Gonna get it to that chemical flare and then throw it forwards. 
might see if we can get Skynox on this roof somehow. Yes, we can actually. Look at that. It's nice stairs. He'll, he'll master some stairs soon. Starting to feel some fatigue. I've been recording for hours. Alright, we'll make this the last video for the today. That's all good. Cool. Have some lunch. That's it, turn. We can't see any aliens inside under the deck of this ship. We can see an alien there. And a good spot for us to see it too, because it means the general manager can now take some shots. It's one good shot. It's a second good shot. And that gill man is so dead. Deader than a dead thing on Death's Day. That's right. Deader than a few. So the sitcom lead shall now approach this chemical flare. Throw it forward with impunity. Cool. Skynox is almost in a position where he can provide some long range attack. It's good to see. And Gilman's floating in the air. Oh, it happens. The floats. Actually overclicked there and missed the chemical flare. Oh, we'll just we'll just backtrack and get it in a minute. We forgot about boom, so let's just get boom to advance, just like that. As you can see, she's advanced. I, I can do it off screen; it happens instantly. We still don't know where the alien craft is, although we seem to be approaching it because we are clearing out chunks of the map. Alright, so General Manager will need to get that chemical flare. It's just a priority. Alright. And throw it forwards. Cool. Does that reveal anything for you, Sea Lincoln? Apparently not. Still good to have, though. Provides that additional visibility. Still can't make out the alien craft though. We're going to get Sitcom Lead to continue to advance this way. But just moving towards our own chemical flare, seeing if she can find the sub. We're going to get Skynox to come on up. And stand there. No, that wasn't the ray I wanted. Oh, bar finding, it happens. There's moments when you want to go upstairs and you end up downstairs. It's one of those, really. Oh dear. Of course, the boom. Boom shall drop her magnet, uh, drop a medikit actually, and a thermal taser. Gonna add a chemical flare though. Route 47, the tank. Ah, oh, there it is there. It's a cruiser, okay. Good thing we still actually have most of our troops alive. We're going to need them to be alive to be able to do this one properly. Fortunately, we've got a torpedo launcher as well. You should know the magnet pack's a better, a better gun. Because this is landed one, with it's all the traps of a cruiser are right there. You know, that's such a death trap, that door. But it is a cruiser. We're going to need to approach it properly. But to continue sweeping up here and to sweep down, possibly these troops move there. These troops move this way. And then we'll move towards the, the doors of the craft. We'll leave that for next time, so when we come back there'll be more XCOM Terror from the Deep. Oh, yes. Oh.